You'll create the autoresponders in your account by going to the email marketing feature space. And then you can see there's a dedicated section for your autoresponder messages. And it by default brings you to the manage page for the different autoresponders uh, that you already have set up where you can you know, view them and edit them. But additionally, you'll create new autoresponders from this view as well. And you can see some additional navigation tools you have or sorting options is for how, which lists in your account you want to view or create the autoresponders within. If you don't have any, you know, it would look like this. Or additionally, you'd be able to uh, view them in a calendar view if you wanted. So this is the list view where they're all just, you know, in a list. Or you can view them in a really handy, cal handy calendar view, which represents the uh, subscription days of contacts. So day zero is the same day that a contact joins and signs up for your list. Day one is the day after someone has signed up. Uh, day two is two days after that, and so on. You know, day 55 is the 55th day of their subscription with you. Of course, a calendar view doesn't necessarily refer to, of course, uh, actual, you know, months or days of the month, uh, but rather this is referring to a subscription date, but a really, you know, handy way to view it. And additionally here, this is where you can create a new autoresponder. And it's handy uh, whenever you're building your autoresponder cycle. If you already have the messages that you know you want to include in your autoresponder cycle created, for example, creating it as a draft, if you went to drafts, create message, they would then be accessed, uh, accessible here in the drafts, the messages that you wanted to create in your autoresponder series. Or, of course, it's no big deal and you can simply create uh, your autoresponder um, messages right here from within the calendar view. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a list for which I don't have any autoresponders and I want some. And I like to work in the calendar view, so we've got it selected here. And let's say I'm ready to create uh, the day zero message or the a message that someone receives immediately when they sign up for my brownie promotion list. And so I can choose uh, to create it by choosing create new button or simply clicking on the day uh, in the calendar view that I want to create a message for. And so I'll give this autoresponder message a name, but it's internal, so it only needs to be something that I'll reference. So I'll just say Brownie Day Zero Welcome. It's perfectly uh, you know, correct that it's on day zero. This looks good, but if I wanted to change it and actually have it be day one or whatever I wanted to do, I could simply enter in that new day uh, number there. Then you need to make sure you specify which list. So this should be for my Brownie Promotions list. And you can also choose when to send this day zero message immediately with some delay, things like that. But I want it to go out immediately. And these check boxes refer to basically when this message should be enabled. So if for some reason someone signs up and their day zero falls on a Sunday and you don't want them to receive this information, this welcome message on a Sunday, you would simply uncheck that box. Then automatically the following day on Monday, they would be sent their original day zero message. So if for some reason you don't want uh, a contact who signs up for your list on a particular day of the week to receive this message, you would simply uncheck it. But having them all checked means regardless of the day of the week they sign up, they will receive this message. And then we can choose or create our message. So if you did, as I mentioned before, and previously created these messages, for example, as newsletters or as a draft, you could access them all here. You'd see the name of the message, and a preview and you could simply just push them in really quickly right here or you can go through the process and create a brand new email. So to do that you simply choose create new email and you'll see something similar perhaps if you've already created some newsletters or some drafts where again you give this uh, message a name which is going to be internal so say you know brownie day zero welcome welcome you'll love our brownies just as an example set up and choose the desired from field and return uh, reply email addresses if you want it and uh, edit any distribution settings uh, additional options that you have here for your settings of this autoresponder message you'll go to next step and you'll choose the template that you would like to use for this message so pre-designed or starting from scratch so I've got a template available I can use And then you'll open up the editor and you can make any uh, you know, editing changes that you need to this message or template as you need to make it uh, applicable for the list someone is signing up for and what the purpose of the message is. But let's say this is going to be good to go and I'm going to go to the next step. 
and you can see we're now back to those uh, that initial settings page for creating the autoresponder. So it's got all the information I already entered, but you can see now it's got, eventually it will load the preview image of course as well, but this is that uh, name I just gave that message and this is going to be the template it's going to use. So you can save it and it would actually save this autoresponder, but it wouldn't be enabled or start sending. And then save and publish would actually then make it so this autoresponder will start sending immediately whenever someone signs up for my list. So we can see it reloads my manage autoresponders page for my brownie promotion list. And now this one is good to go. This is the message I just created. And now as soon as someone joins my brownie promotion list, it will automatically send this message. If you needed this disabled for a moment, perhaps while you finish the rest of your cycle, if you wanted, you could just turn it off or in that previous setting step, just click save and it would actually save the message, but it would be off. So you can turn it back on if you're ready to go and then see additional editing options you have from this actions menu. And then if you'd like to proceed and create more messages in your cycle, let's say, you know, every couple of days, there's not going to be a limit on how many you create. You so you can create, show lots more days if you want this to be a really long cycle. And then you just repeat the process. You click on the day or you choose the create new button, give your autoresponder a name, specify the day that this should be sent, your list, all the same things you just did. Keep it going throughout uh, until you complete your cycle.